Working with triggers. Triggers are a simple but powerful function that help you automate work in Zendesk. At its core, a trigger is a cause and effect statement. If X happens, then do Y. Every Zendesk comes preloaded with some useful triggers that are already doing work for you. The names might be a little cryptic to new users, but they're pretty simple. This one, for example. If a new ticket comes in, then respond with an email saying we got it. And this one. If a ticket gets assigned to one of your agents, then send them an email about it. Triggers are good for things you find yourself repeating, or just things you don't want to forget. So let's say you always assign tickets that come in through Twitter from certain VIP customers to a particular agent. You could do that manually each time, or you can set up a trigger and have Zendesk do it for you automatically. You can create new triggers here. This part is the if, and uh, this part is then. Okay, so first set the conditions you're looking for. A new ticket, which comes in through Twitter, from someone who is either in this organization or in this one. In order for the triggered fire, all of these conditions must be true, and at least one of these must be true. Then you define what you want Zendesk to do. We want to assign the ticket to our agent. And we'll also set the priority of the ticket to high. Now, whenever tickets are updated or created, they're checked off against the trigger. When a ticket matches the conditions we set, the trigger fires the action. Okay, but tickets are actually checked against all the triggers in your Zendesk, in order from top to bottom. This means that a ticket might fire multiple triggers, and therefore, the order of your triggers is important. So, we just created a trigger which assigns Twitter tickets to one of our agents. By default, it's last in the stack. But remember, we also have that other trigger which sends emails to agents whenever they get a ticket assignment. In this order, the ticket will not yet have anyone assigned to it when it passes this trigger, so there's no match. Then it gets assigned by our new trigger, but it's too late to fire the first one and send the email. So we switch the order of the stack. Now when a Twitter ticket comes in, it gets assigned first, which then fires the email trigger. No matter how complex your triggers get, remember, it's always just, if this, then that. Follow the link at the end of the video for more details and to see some of the most popular triggers. And if you have any further questions, you can always email us, support at Zendesk.com. <laughs>